Hi, and welcome to lesson 3 of HTML and CSS. Once again, all the code we're using is available at www.tomakewebsite.com. To get started, we'll open up the two files we had from lesson 1 and 2, index.html and style.css. In this lesson, we're going to create two new sidebars and a middle section. Previously, in lesson 2, we created our website like this with a header and a container. So we're going to change this slightly by adding two sidebars and a center section. So we'll just copy all our HTML here from the website. Overwrite everything we had before. We'll just save that. Then we'll go down and copy our CSS. and paste that over what we had in style.css and we'll save that. Now let's have a quick look at what we're creating. So here you see we've still got our container with the green border, we've got our header with the blue border, but now we've got two, three new sections down the bottom. We've got a right bar with the red, a left bar with the red, and a center section here. Now, in our HTML, not too much has changed. Once again, we've got our header, our title, our reference to the style. We've still got our division of the container, still got our division of header. We've got two new ones here. Division ID equals left side and division ID equals right side. At the moment, there's nothing actually in them, so they're both blank. And we've created this division ID equals main. We haven't put a border or anything, but it's this middle section here. And the reason we created it was just so we could format the text the way we want and keep it centered in the middle there. Now if we look at our style.css, we've still got our body, our container, our header, and now we've got our three new sections here. Hash left side, hash right side, and hash main. As you recall, if you've got the hash, you can use it in your HTML in this division section. So division ID equals main. Now the new new attribute we've got here is this float. For the left side it flows to the left. For the right side it flows to the right. That just tells it within the section it is in, so it is within container, it will float to the left. So this is the left side, it will keep to the left and this one's going to go to the right and keep to the rightmost side. Everything else is pretty familiar. Width again, height, and we've put a border around it which is thick, red, and dotted. This one's width 125, 540, and it's got a border there. Our main, it floats to the left, but because we've already got this there, this is going to float up against the edge of it. We've got a width, height, once again, we've got this font family, you may remember from lesson one. If you don't, I'll just go quickly over it. Font family gets the first font you've listed that the browser recognizes. So it'll start off with Vardana. If it doesn't understand that, it'll go to Arial. And then finally, Sensor. Once again, keep the most generic one at the end that you know every browser uses. And again, we've got our text color, our background color, and some padding. That's about it for lesson three. Come back to lesson four and we'll go through a bit more.